Hey, what up YouTubers, it's your boy Alter Tech, and I will be giving you a full review of the OnePlus 6T. Now this has to be hands down one of the best phones of 2018. And to start off, let's go ahead and talk about the specs real quick. Now it does have a Snapdragon 845 processor, and you wouldn't expect anything less from a company with the slogan, never settle. As for the GPU, you do have the Andrino 630, and for my device, it has 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage, which is non-expandable. Now you could also get the 8GB of RAM with the 256GB of storage if you wanted to but I actually purchased the base model which starts off at $549. Now as for the battery you do get 3,700 milliamp hours which could give me about two days of normal use thanks to the battery optimizations from Oxygen OS. Now when it comes to fast charging this delivers 20 watts of power and remarkably this does not cause a spike in temperature on your device. Now you do have an optic AMOLED display which is 1080 by 2340 with a ratio of 19 by 9 and it has a pixel density of 402. Now Optic AMOLED display has more vivid colors and it's more true to life. It also has deep blacks and bright whites. Now if you're very picky about your device calibration settings and you would like to change the color temperature, now OnePlus gives you five settings to choose from with one of them being a custom setting so you can adjust the temperature to your own liking. Now compared to the OnePlus 6, this has a smaller notch and a smaller chin which bumps up the screen to body ratio to about 85.6 percent so you'll get less bezels and more display now this device also comes with nfc so if you're interested in using google pay and this also comes with the latest bluetooth 5.0 which is great for faster speeds and better connectivity. Now for the design, you do have a glass back finish and it comes in three different colors. You have Thunder Purple, Midnight Black, and Mirror Black. As for me, I actually chose Mirror Black, which I could say is a fingerprint magnet. Now the back of this device is pitch black and it actually reminds me of a dark hole. Now, despite the back being made up from glass, there is no wireless charging. Now on the back, you also see a vertical camera cutout and you'll also see the OnePlus logo. But as for me, I do prefer the horizontal cutout from the OnePlus 5. It's just my preference. Maybe you might agree with me or not. Let me know in the comment section. Now on the front of the device, you do have a teardrop notch and you do have the option to hide the notch. So if you don't like the notch, you go into the settings and choose the option to hide the notch. Now for the audio, I'm going to divide this in two categories. Now you have the earpiece for phone calls and you do have the bottom firing speakers for multimedia purposes. Now for phone calls, it offers great sound, there's no issues, and I do have to add that the speaker phone is loud and clear. Now for multimedia purposes, when you're using the bottom firing speakers, I would say it's decent at best. And I would definitely recommend you using your Bluetooth headphones with this device since there is no headphone jack. And if you're looking for some wireless headphones, I would definitely recommend the OnePlus wireless headphones because this actually made me love wireless Bluetooth headphones pretty much because of the fast charging, the easy connectivity, the auto on and off connectivity, thanks to the magnetic earpieces, the battery indicator, which shows up on your OnePlus 6T device on the icon setting up on top. It also offers great sound and it is pretty comfy. Now for performance, this comes with 6 gigabytes of RAM, which means more apps stay open, so they're actually ready for you when they're needed. And thanks to the Adreno 630 CPU, this device is great for gaming, and there's a gaming mode built inside Oxygen OS to enhance your gaming experience. And in terms of animation speeds, this device has one of the most fastest animation speeds I've ever experienced on an Android device. Now for the fingerprint reader. Now for the speed, it's pretty good, but it's not the fastest in the market. But the thing I'm most concerned about this is the reliability. Now it really depends on the condition of your fingers, whether it's wet, whether it's dry, whether it's soggy from a hot shower. I would pretty much advise you to use face unlock with the fingerprint reader. Now you might be asking me why do I enjoy using this fingerprint reader? Number one, it's built into the screen. Screen. And number two, it has one of the coolest animations you could possibly find. Now for the camera, for your main camera sensor, you're going to have a 16 megapixel shooter with an f1.7 aperture. And for the secondary rear camera, you're going to have a 20 megapixel shooter with a f1.7 as well. But this camera sensor is primarily used for the depth effect when taking portraits. Now they both have optic image stabilization, phase detection autofocus, electronic image stabilization, and the primary lens is also capable of recording in 4K at 30 frames or 60 frames per second, 1080 at 30, 60, or 240 frames per second, or at 
720 at 480 frames per second. Now for the selfie camera, you do have a 16 megapixel shooter with a f2.0 aperture and it does record 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now what I do love about this camera is the camera app. It's easy to use, it's probably one of the most easiest camera apps I've used on an Android device. It's well designed, but it also does crash quite frequently. Now with portrait mode, it works great, subjects are cut out pretty well, and it also has a nice artificial bokeh effect. Now when taking photos in low light situations, OnePlus did come out with a nightscape mode which allows you to take some better brighter photos in low light situations, but in my experience, I believe that the auto mode usually takes some better photos than when using nightscape. It's pretty much just a hit or miss when using nightscape, and if you do have to take some night shots, I recommend you using the pro mode. Now here's an awesome picture I took of the New York City skyline with pro mode. Now when it comes to taking selfies, it does do a pretty good job. It does have a wider field of view than most other Android devices, but I do have to say when it comes to taking photos of human subjects, there tends to be a yellowing of the skin. Now for Gcam, I did notice that this does take better HDR photos and that yellowing of the skin effect is still there. Now the best thing you could probably do is take photos in pro mode. Now for my final thoughts. Now this has to be the fastest and smoothest Android device I've ever used and it has the least amount of lag I've ever seen on an Android device. And when it comes to timely up updates, security updates, software updates, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's not the fastest, but they do a pretty damn good job. Now when it comes to battery life, yeah, I do love me some good battery life, and with this device, I could easily get about 2 days of use. It's very reliable, and on top of that, if I do need a quick top up, I do have that fast charging available. Now I do have to add that OnePlus has built a wonderful official tech community, and they also have an app built for this community. There are moderators there to prevent trolling and unnecessary content and I do have to say that they've done a phenomenal job and this happens to be the best tech community I've ever seen. Now for the phone itself I have to say despite it being pretty large it is light. Now for the changes I would like to see OnePlus make. Number one I would like to see a more reliable fingerprint reader. Number two I would like them to remove the yellow skin effect. I've made a video on that if you want to check it out. Number three, I would like to see a wide angle lens or a triple camera system since most other smartphones are actually incorporating this on their newer devices. And I would also like to see some more detail in photos and I would like to see some better low light performance. Now I do love the autofocus experience and they have done a phenomenal job. There is less searching than on earlier OnePlus devices based on what I've heard and it actually has done a better job when recording in 4K than on my Galaxy S9 when it comes to keeping focus on the subject. So that has been my complete OnePlus 6T review. Let me know what you guys and girls think down in the comments section. This is Altertech signing out. Hope you guys and girls have a great and wonderful day. Peace.